Hi chickies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a quick and simple way how to make a YouTube thumbnail using PixArt and I've been using PixArt for quite some time now and you can get so creative using this free app. In case you guys are new here, I would greatly appreciate it if you please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you guys would be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So I'm going to share with you really quickly how to create a YouTube thumbnail using PixArt. Thank you so much to PixArt for partnering with me for today today's video. You guys are going to love this app. It's so simple to use and you can get very creative with your YouTube thumbnails. First download the PixArt app. Once you open it, you're going to tap the plus sign, which is right in the middle on the bottom of the screen. And we're going to first pick out image. This is a picture that my husband took of me last night. Since this image isn't the correct size for a YouTube thumbnail, we're going to go to tools and then go to crop. And you have all these different options at the bottom, but we're gonna swipe all the way to the right and you'll see YouTube, which is one of the last options on the right-hand side. That will basically crop it to the exact size that you will need when you're gonna be making a YouTube thumbnail. And then you can just reposition it. When you're in the tools option, you can also click adjust and here you can adjust the amount of brightness, the shadows, the highlights, the temperature, but I actually like the way how it is. So we're just going to leave it. So next what you can do is add text. So you can put, um, let's see, let's just put day in the life great thing about this is that you can also change the text font. So I think we're going to use this. I actually like to use a uh, stroke dimension. You can also change the color, which I want to make this pop a bit more. And then we're going to change the stroke. just like that, or you can change it to different colors, but I think we're gonna leave it black. And then we're also gonna change the shadow. So it will give it a bit of a, a shadow in the background. And you can also change the opacity. You can also move the text. I think that looks pretty good, and we are going to save that. Say if you wanna get a little bit more creative, we can go back to that same image and we can choose cutout. And with cutout, basically it can recognize if there is say a person, all you do is you hit this little person icon and it will automatically detect if there's a, a shape, a person's figure or face, it will make that image red. So sometimes it doesn't pick up everything, but what you can do is then you can go in manually and add a bit of this bit of my hair to be in the image. You can just swipe your finger along the screen and it will outline that image. Area right there. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go hit save and it basically cut out the image and we can use this as a sticker. So you're going to save this. We're going to go to our original thumbnail image and then we can go to sticker. My sticker and then we can overlay it. We can make it smaller, but what I want to do is I want to add it right here. Choose this, um, this icon at the very top in the middle, which is an eraser. And I'm just going to erase some of this image. So what I like to do is I like to zoom in first so I can really see. And I'm just going to erase some of the image so that it looks like a bit 3D. You can even take this a step further and just swipe all the way to the right and you'll see border. So what you can do is you can actually change the border on this. So this will kind of define that image that we just cut out. And I think I'm pretty much happy with the way how it looks. I hit apply next and then save. 
I like to airdrop it to my MacBook or you can send it through an email which is what I've also done in the past. So you can really get very creative with your YouTube thumbnails and it's also very user friendly which is one of the best things I found about Pixar because everything is like all in one with this app. I'm going to link them down below. Thank you so much to Pixar for partnering with me for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the videos right over here. You might enjoy those as well. Thank you Chicky so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Mwah.